a little bit of a review of Prey, which you mentioned is doing better than any movie that's ever been released on Hulu. Um, I watched it. I watched it last night. Um, eh. And that's it. Thank you. That's it. That's my spoiler for Have a great review. day, everyone. <laughs> yeah. No, it, I don't know, I, you know, I think it was for what it was, I, I enjoyed it. It was like a very uh, high budgeted sci-fi original movie. You know um, what you're saying right now is basically a really long. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, look, okay. I liked that, um, you know, they, they, in moments they did speak uh, traditional, I think it's Comanche? pronounced, com, com, yeah, Comanche. Yeah. Uh, I wish the whole movie had been that. Uh, me too. I, I think that kind of took me out of it at points. Yeah. Um, and it was, I saw that there was an option that you could choose to watch the entire movie. In the Comanche in language. Comanche. Yeah, yeah. And I thought, oh, okay, that's cool. I threw it on. And then I realized you can't have, um, subtitles so like you don't even know what they're oh. saying or at least my option didn't i tried getting it i prefer it. that and in um, fact let me, I don't know in fact thing. what i well, did it was okay because i this movie was not one that required close attention to dialogue at all no that's true i but literally I, put headphones in and listened to something else what'd you listen to music because the storytelling is good. It's well, maybe effective. that's why you felt like men. No, no, because every once in a while I'll pop out and be like, ah, oh, okay, they're French, not American. And then, but, and then it was, uh, it just wasn't it's a weird way to watch a movie. Yeah. No, no, it definitely no, no. wasn't captivating. I didn't start out, I didn't start out with it, but like after about 30, 45 minutes of it, I was like, I'm not really getting any extra information here. So you could watch it in Comanche and just because the point of this movie seems to be communicating with other life forms that don't and getting into that space of i'm the hunter you're the thing being hunted and it does do a really good job of establishing that relationship between predator and prey because everybody's hunting Everybody Wait, could be a predator or prey in this movie. What do you What do you mean communicating with other life forms? They never tried talking to it. So glad you asked, um, because she sets out on this mission to hunt something and bring something back to her tribe. Yeah. It doesn't matter what it is. At first, you know, she she tries to uh, hunt a I guess a mountain lion, mm -hmm. and then at another point, actually through the whole movie, she's got that dog with her, and. They, she talks, she literally speaks to the dog, but she's got ways of communicating with the dog that aren't, it's not like the dog is a talking dog and goes, yes, master, I agree. Like there's, there's a connection. Um, and even in the scenes where she's up against the predator, it seems like maybe the predator is gonna save her or something. It like seems to be looking out for her at different points in the movie. What, when she like got her leg caught in the trap? Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, the predator similarly is hunting on the terrain and is like, you know, he hunts the wolf and she gets the rabbit. And then you have these Frenchmen come in and like there's the language barrier and they're I wasn't totally uh, I wasn't really convinced by a lot of those interactions. I'll just leave it at that. Um, but the thesis of this movie seems to be like there's a level of communication that happens between life forms whether or not they speak the same language yeah okay the, okay i thought you just meant specifically the predator yeah no um that's a good that's a good point point. and you're right i mean it's not a movie that you need the dialogue for if you are interested in seeing how the story progresses with the interactions between the Comanche amongst themselves, then you would probably want that because well, it's all, it's not just an action movie, you know, but, within the action movie, it's her dealing with gaining respect from her tribe's people I, as a hunter. That is all communicated. Which is all communicated visually. Yeah, all you're right, you're right. And it's like, you know, this, this is what, this is what directors mean when they say action. This is what I mean when I talk about like action, acting, the acting in this is good. It, they communicate, all, and honestly, it does more to support that main thesis, which is you can watch this in Comanche without subtitles. Mm -hmm. You can get all of that 
because there is something about communication that isn't verbal. Show and don't tell. That's mm -hmm. kind of yeah. Yeah. You know, but... there's there's a movie that this reminds me of, uh, which is it's called Outlander, not the show Outlander, but this movie from like I want to say like 2005 maybe, and it's got the same actor who played um, Jesus in The Passion, and it's it's basically although he's the alien, mm. um, he comes to Earth prehistoric or, or not prehistoric but like um uh vikings you know like in medieval times and he comes from another planet he was fighting this alien that hung on to his ship he crashed on earth oh and, i've heard about um, this it's such a good movie and it reminded me of this but i actually uh, prefer that one better you guys should check it out <laughs> really? i was reminded uh, i was yeah, reminded of really apocalypto good. Um, and apocalypto as well that's two mel gibson movies in the space of a sentence there um <laughs> but like that's apocalypto is, is still one of my favorite movies of all yeah time. Um, same and it's another and i was one hoping you, they were gonna do that with this like me too yeah but that one also like it does such a good job of telling a story without many words mm -hmm. you know but um, the words are beautiful when you when you listen to it you know yeah and i to take it back to our bollywood conversation generally what I've done in the past, there were subtitles in Lal Singh Chada, but, um, you know, generally I've watched it without the subtitles because the action is so clear and the it's theatrical, it's entertaining, but like the points get made. That's interesting. I, I like to I like to tune in to what's going on. That's fair. Verbally. That's fair. You know, I also I'm one of those people who like if subtitles are on a screen, my eyes just go to the subtitles. And I know. It, oh, I, I'm the same way. Yeah. Yeah. I, even if it's in I, English or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I can't stand these people who always have the subtitles on. I know. Turn them off. Watch the film. They put a lot of effort into it. Oh, my and sister does that. I always yeah, have to. I'm like, nuts. how are you watching this with it? Because <laughs> turn up the volume. Is that the problem? Like, you know, I'm, I'm <laughs> always having this. I I'm always having this with conversation certain... with. Yeah. <laughs> With certain British movies or something, I'll have to throw it on. Yeah, where the dialect so is so thick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense. I get it. I mean, here's the thing. I haven't watched this movie, but everything I've seen about this, it reminds me of, it feels like they've sort of gone back to the basics with like what Arnold Schwarzenegger's original Predator was about. And except obviously a different time period and hence the callback that uh, Katriana's got for us. Oh, for right, yeah. right. You never I explained laugh. it, but I don't I think it laughed every single time you just pop up with Arnold <laughs> on the screen. And again, like it it looks like he's not wearing anything right now. That's the like, that's the best part. Little strap. <laughs> it's so jarring. <laughs> but I, I mean all in all, it looks like okay, this movie and we mentioned it in Quickets earlier. It's it's the biggest debut on Hulu of all time, movies or TV shows, like any kind of debut, and even internationally on Disney Plus or Star Plus, where they don't have Hulu around the world. In the U.S., they have Hulu, but anywhere this movie has been on on a streaming service for Disney is become their biggest uh, debut on on the service. The last Predator movie from Shane Black, I actually kind of liked it, but that movie really underperformed, and which is why this was made straight for streaming. But mm. clearly, I mean, I think with Amber Mid Thunder doing as well as she did here, I don't know. Do you think there's a value here in them investing in a sequel, whether it's a direct sequel or something that's like a spinoff on a different time period? And then the second part of that question, do you think that movie then goes theatrical like all Predator movies in the past have because this movie has been so successful? Or do you think they stick to making it like a streaming film series? Franchise is, Predator, forward? is the Predator series just becoming like Assassin's Creed? Because they're just jumping around with like different timelines and everything, and it's like, do you know oh, what I mean? I think. I was thinking it'd be cool to do like medieval, but now I'm thinking like, is, is are we just following? I I, I think cool. with with this, like the novelty was, okay, here's all of this tech from the future, and in the past it was like you know, in the original movies, we had advanced to a certain point, and so it was our time, and so it was like, yeah, it's technology from the future from another planet or futuristic technology from another planet and this alien comes here and hunts us with it and we got those scenes that was the worst cgi right there um <laughs> and it looks like we it. got we got those scenes where these 
relatively primitive people are looking at this technology as magic. Um, how many times are we do we got to see that? We got to see that with cavemen and you know Egyptians and like it would get redundant. I think they did that here. Um, you want to do a time jump? Take us way into the future. You know, um, put us well, on equal the... footing with it. I don't think, yeah, you're right, though. They haven't done that before. But, like, Aliens v. Predator, Alien, AVP, whatever. Yeah. You know, that movie was that one was, similar. That one was fun, <laughs> even though it was terrible. I don't know. Yeah. It's, 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 <laughs> yeah, it's like watching an Expendables movie or a Universal Soldier movie. You know what you're getting into, and it's not, like, highbrow yeah. filmmaking, but you know what you're getting into kind of a movie. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Speak. I actually have. I I was way too young when I watched my first Universal Soldier movie, and I got. I literally was traumatized for a few days because I couldn't sleep in the dark. I was like, "Oh my god, this was way more gory than I ever imagined." Because you know, I was like previewed out on the thing. I'm like, "Oh, this looks hands. nice." Put it on. Hands. Oh yeah, that music, those visuals, didn't sleep for a week. I mean, Universal Soldier. Like have that. you have any of you guys seen Universal Soldier Van Dam? Go watch it. There's been multiple. Just watch the first one. That's the only one I've seen. Watch the thing that traumatized you as a kid? Well, as a kid. What kind of pitch like, is that? I, I specifically remember this being 12 years ago. So I was half as old as I am today. More like, Well, not exactly. But, you know, 12 years ago is a long time ago. So, okay. I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll hit different now. I mean, I'm looking for... Okay, back to Prey. I'm looking forward to watching this. I literally, this is at the top of my list. Because even before I go to the theaters to watch Lao Sing Chetda, I'm going to go check out Prey. Because, well, it's easier to see it and just pop it on my television. Do you guys... Would you recommend it? Yeah, it's a fun movie. I didn't know about the option to watch it in Comanche. I wish I had. Um, So that Because it would be like watching it without subtitles and... Yeah, and and I... The thing that I loved about Apocalypto and about watching Bollywood movies. It's like, I like, I, and it is the point of the movie. It's like, we can communicate things that happen just in this, it's, it's, it's a very humanizing film, honestly. It's just like, yeah, we, we understand because these are actions that people do. These are faces that people make. These are situations. You know, I, that's, that's a nice sentiment. And if you want the film to prove its thesis, I say, watch it in Comanche. That's going to be my recommendation. And uh, yeah, but let's let's change gears just a little bit. And uh, before we do, follow us, like us, subscribe, do all this stuff. We are a media thing that is trying to grow. And that only happens when you share and like and subscribe and tell your friends to do the same. So do that, you people. 